Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I uh, just wanted to do a quick uh, prayer request, a little walk and talk. Um, I'll try to keep it steady. Uh, got a brother in Christ who the uh, Bible talks about, He that loveth mother or father more than me is not worthy of me. He that loveth son or daughter is not worthy of me. More than me is not worthy of me. About a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Um, he got shown the truth and came out of the Babel building system. And this brother in Christ... His uh, wife left him and took the children, and uh, he stood for the Word of God. He tried preaching the truth to her, and he just he really needs our prayer, brothers and sisters in Christ. So um, that's one of our, my main prayer requests for today, is just for men and women like him, but for uh, Brother Alex, I'll say his first name, Brother Alex, um, and people that are in that position that their family starts turning against them, but it's, it's harder when it's someone very close to you, like your wife or your husband. And um, he just needs some prayer. He's trying to stay strong. He's trying to stay... Victoria, she's scratching. He's trying to stay strong, and he's having some difficult times. And he just really needs our prayer, brothers and sisters in Christ. And these last days, coming up with some other things, in these last days... It seems like a lot of the cares of this world, they just, I didn't, wasn't paying attention. And I guess they passed the law in the state of Oregon that every business now requires people to wear masks going in. So I'm going to try that piece of paper. Um, then I'm going to try one of those face shields <laughs> that's not really a mask, but I can still breathe. It's not it's cutting off my circulation. You know, try to find ways where you can wear stuff. But eventually I got to look in the law and see if they're trying to say it has to be a specific type of mask. And... I ain't shaving my beard, so bottom line, things are just getting tougher, and speaking of which, um, my cistern, it didn't go dry, but it went past the safety shutoff point, so I'm not getting water from my cistern anymore, and I still got two months of hardcore summer, uh, and then my tank, we'll walk back there, but my tank... Um, the pump is not working to pressurize the, the tank to pump the water that I have from my above ground tank into the house. So we're shuttling a lot of water around. So let's uh, switch this camera view and I'll walk you through some of the things that I, I could use prayer from. But Alex, Brother Alexander needs prayer first. Alexander, Alex, um, Brother Alexander, <laughs> I'm always praying for him. He's got a new place that he's moving to that's a safer place. He can make his home, own home. Praise the Lord. I'm always praying for him. But Alex, Brother Alex, his wife, just up and left, took a lot of stuff and just left and then gave him a letter saying, you have to do all these things. And what's going on more than anything is the Babel building system. They were both in the Babel building system and his wife is still the Babel building system. The so-called church buildings have their hook in her and she's listening to the wolf in sheep's clothing, the hireling behind this, the so-called pulpit over her husband. And her husband's saying, hey, the King James Bible, that guy keeps correcting the King James Bible. He, he doesn't believe in the King James Bible. He tells her about the Trinity versus the Godhead, you know, dispensational teaching, stuff like that. And he's trying to show her the Word of God. And she keeps running to that hireling. And that hireling says, oh, no, your husband's so wrong. He's in heresy and he's a heretic and he's lost. And, all, and it's like, basically turned her against her own husband. And that's what Satan does. He goes after the wives. He goes after the women. Okay? To destroy a home, that's what he does. He desperately needs our prayer. Um, so let me uh, let's switch this video camera around. Okay, here we are. Here's my bumper sticker. Now it's getting to the point with all the masks, having to wear the mask everywhere, and you can't really go anywhere. Uh, every little thing helps. Having a bumper sticker helps. But uh, this barrel, I had it over winter time and just sitting here over the winter time, the way it sinks in, I had to jury rig. That's actually for towing my trailer, like pulling it around. But I had to jury rig this so I can lean it with the weight of the barrel in the water. And I was filling up buckets of water and trying to water the garden, water the chickens and everything. But uh, do a quick walk through back it up guys i'm gonna have to say goodbye to him he's a rooster i only need one rooster and i got found out i've got three roosters so this guy's gonna become 
uh, dinner in a couple days. He's the primary rooster. He's the dominant one. He's doing good. He's getting all these guys in where they're supposed to go. So he's doing good. So this guy here, sad, but he's going to have to go. And you got this guy. He's a really neat style uh, rooster. But he's also not the dominant one, so he's going to have to go. <laughs> so I'll be down to nine totals. Nine hens and one, or eight hens and one rooster. So up to eight eggs a day during the summer. But I have to come out and manually water them again after building this whole uh, automatic watering system. And now we have no water. <laughs> Water's not working. Victoria, over here. Over here. All right, fine. Start climbing into the coop instead of coming up here. I had to come back here. I've got all my buckets now. I'm doing bucket brigades with water, uh, trying to grow things. But the thing I wanted to mention also is the study I did about uh, we have the right to have fun and entertainment and whatnot. And then talking about laboring with your hand. I'll show a video. Came out here with my daughter and we went through, tore up a lot of things, vegetables, and we have a whole setup inside where... We are eating salads every day, and everything from the salad comes from the garden, except for the tuna. Uh, the tuna comes from, it's fresh source from one of the neighbors. I traded them and got a few cans of uh, good tuna that was canned at home. No junk in it whatsoever. Fresh caught and everything. So, um, so the labor of your hands. All this is new stuff that we planted. So it doesn't look as big as it used to because we've, we're going through pulling stuff and eating it. <laughs> so, but I'm water. Been watering this a lot and trying to keep things going good and going strong. And evidently, I overdid it, or we just didn't have that much water. I don't know what's going on with the cistern. They're going to look at it. If it's got a leak, that's going to be a big problem. So I need prayer, brothers and sisters in Christ, that doesn't have a leak. Um, but we've been working hard at back here keeping things going my zucchini plants they got thorns everywhere <laughs> so you got to be cautious when messing with these guys but i pulled out a huge zucchini which will show um, corn looks like it's going good and going strong but the biggest prayer my uh tomatoes aren't doing that good <laughs> they're getting kind of tall but they're just not doing as good and then my burn barrel the Lord blessed me that uh, the deck ever falls because uh, I remember one of my prayer requests, brothers and sisters in Christ, was that the retaining wall on the deck. So I was able to do some repairs on the deck from back here. I don't know if we can take some pictures of it. But the hillside just starts dropping off just towards the end of where the deck is and the beams and everything. So I was able to do some woodwork and patch up some things to make it last a little bit longer um, so I'm still saving up money for the if I get my words right um, retaining wall so that probably won't happen till next year it's supposed to happen this year but probably won't happen to next year because of everything that happened I had a guy that was supposed to come out and do it and um, he canceled because of this stupid pandemic junk Victoria stop digging Let's go catch her. Victoria. Stop digging. <laughs> Dogs like to dig, but always in the wrong spot. But, um, no, the one thing I really, really would like to do is I need, would like to have a well. A lot of people in the neighborhood, after that last drought we had, brothers and sisters in Christ, um, they started getting wells dug. And praise the Lord that they had the money for it. But I just don't have the money. It's going to cost close to 15 grand to get a well dug. And then it's going to cost, I think it was like eight grand. One guy that gave me the estimate for the retaining wall. And I'm trying to figure ways that I can do what I can do and cut the cost down big time and just have him do the starting part. So I'm doing what I can. I don't know if you can hear that. 
but that's the pump it'll kick on for a little bit and then kick off so this tank is full of water I mean it's good to go for the house for everything but the pump underneath there is not working then when I mess with the wires it looks like rats are gnawing into the electrical wires yeah traps galore so brother and sister Christ I guess the biggest thing uh, let me walk over here I'm gonna switch views real quick Okay, brother, sister, Christ. Um, I just, I guess, the biggest thing is the prayer that I really desperate need is, is when you have all these cares of the world, and everything just falling apart. I mean, we got no running water here, and like I said, the deck's always a worry for me. I was really excited about the garden, but now I got no water. The Lord's blessed me with a neighbor that has a well. It's like a hundred foot well. He never runs out of water. So now I'm part of doing the bucket brigade. So I'm not stressing out to a point, but. As encouragement to the brethren, um, we can do all things through Christ who strengthen us. And it talks about not falling into the cares of this world and letting it distract us and getting us to fall back into sin and temptation. A lot of addictions that we have problems with, brothers and sisters in Christ, kind of switch arms. It's, it's an escape. It's an escape so you don't have to deal with the real world. And it's so easy to be falling to fall into temptation and then choose to sin, but fall into temptation when life gets hard. So uh, the cares of this world come crumbling down. You just want to say, well, I want to just escape somewhere and just ignore it all. Uh, that's not the answer. Um, so brother and sister Christ, please pray for me. I know it's not the answer. I'm going to keep trying to put out good videos, Bible believing, uh, t teaching videos, some more about emails. Um, get back to some of our Catholic catechism. I mean, Protestant catechism. Uh, videos and stuff like that and just keep you know encouraging the body of Christ to stay in the Word of God stay in prayer pray for one another encourage one another and uh, keep us going strong um, especially in these last days and how weird and vexing and it is out there the mass the riots all this stuff that's going on um, don't let it distract you from doing the work of the Lord and your walk with the Lord sanctification don't let it tempt you into just you know, backsliding. Backsliding's in the Bible. Um, you know, trying to resurrect the old man. Don't fall for that, okay, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, in my walk as a Christian, in my five years of being saved, there's times where I've backslidden. And that old man started to rear its ugly head, and it's like the Lord had to put me in my place or give me strength to ignore it and say, no, I'm not going back there. Okay, I'm going forward. I'm not going backwards. All right. So, brothers and sisters Christ, I'm going to say this now, and then I will show you the video of we lined up all the vegetables, and then we cut them up and did a video, and then set a video of the salad. So, the, enjoying the labors, the fruits of your labors, that's where one of our joys comes from. It's not about playing, you know, video games, uh, sports, all that junk. It's about doing things with your hands that you get to sit outside, talk with the Lord, talk with your family, and you eat food that comes from your labor, you know, fruits of your labor. Uh, if you had a rocking chair that you built yourself and you set out on the deck with it and you rock in the evenings, you do, every time you sit in that chair, you have the joy of the fruit of your labor. You know, so, it could be something like that, not just farming, but, you know, woodworking, clothes, like if it's cold outside, you have a blanket on and you're like, my, I don't have, but if you like your wife knitted it or you made it, sister in Christ, um, you have that blanket on you and you're sitting out there when it's cold and you have a blanket, you have that joy. I made this blanket and it's keeping me warm and I can sit out here in the evenings and talk with the Lord. So I uh, just want to say, stay strong, brother and sister Christ. Please pray for us. Pray for Alex, brother Alex, uh, everyone that's in his position. Okay, I've been there. Um, it's just, it's not fun, okay? He's, cares of this world is really coming down hard on him, and, you know, the stress, the, the temptation, then I'm standing by the Word of God, and I don't want to cave in, and he's really, really needs our prayers, more than I need prayer right now, okay? I will shuttle water, I will shuttle buckets from the neighbors all the way over here, um, and uh, GI showers and stuff like that don't bother me. Brother Alex really needs our prayer. So please, please pray for him. 
So grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and my love for you in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching. Make my burdens lighter, make my journey brighter as I care. Stand upon the hill so high.